Figure skating, by definition, is a sport in which individuals, pairs, or groups perform on figure skates on ice. As a figure skater of 12 years, I have watched the sport grow and change as the years go on. The sport has always been about performing, it still is. The craft of figure skating itself is fascinating, as so much goes into the sport, and when a program is all put together, it's almost like a form of art. But there has been an unfortunate shift where the sport revolves around image and less about the artistic and athletic factor. Many skaters have come out with their stories in the past couple of years, and it has shed a new light on this issue. With social media uprising, there is a larger trend in feminism, mental health, body positivity, and so much more. The feminist social theory examines women in the social world and addresses issues of concern to women, focusing on these from the perspective, experiences, and viewpoint of women, which is exactly what we are seeing all over social media right now. But then why is the issue in women's figure skating becoming worse? The problem in the sport itself is not being recognized enough yet. Other than the athletes, no one else is really speaking out on it. To dive deeper into this issue and to try and get more people to speak out on it, I've interviewed two current skaters and a spectator of the sport to get more insight on the body image and mental health issues in women's figure skating. What's your name? How long have you been involved with figure skating? And what is your current involvement with the sport? My name is Sasha Potacek. I've been figure skating since I was seven, so nine years. And my current involvement is um, I compete at the novice level for solo ice dance. Hi, my name is Alexandra Ortiz, and I have been figure skating for 12 years now. My current involvement is I compete at the senior solo dance level and I coach. Do you believe that the sport has become more about the image, specifically body image, and less about the artistic athletic factor in more recent years? If yes, why? If not, why? Um, yeah, I do think it's become more about the image. I think ever since like the Tanya Harding scandal in the 80s, it's sort of been about like the overall look of the athlete, not just like the athletic ability. Um, I guess it used to just be all about like how athletic someone was, but now it's kind of like just the look of them, like they're representing their country. So I kind of, I see where like the Olympic committee is coming from. Like they don't want someone totally crazy to represent their country, but at the same time, I think it's just strayed so far away from like the integrity of the sport and it's more towards like the overall look of a person. I believe that in more recent years, um, women's figure skating has become more about the physical aspect because women nowadays are trying to catch up with the men in their skills. Um, for guys, they're able to perform more complex jumps and uh, have more revolutions in the air, and women are trying to catch up and um, do the same. When I say the words mental health and figure skating, do you correlate the two at all? Yeah, I definitely correlate mental health and figure skating. I think just like mental health and any sport in general, like are always just related. Um, I know lots of skaters develop like mental blocks because like the sport is so physically demanding and it's so mentally draining. Um, it really just takes a toll on you just being always in like a toxic competitive atmosphere. It really takes a toll on your mental health. So I definitely correlate the two. Yes, I do correlate mental health and figure skating. I believe that in any sport, mental health is a major factor because you're pushing your body um, to be the best that it can be and that can take a toll on your mental state because it can be very tiring and draining. Do you think social media platforms advocate for the mental health of women athletes and women figure skaters? Um, not really. I don't really think social media advocates for them. I think they're starting to, like with like Simone Biles and I think Naomi Osaka, um, with the whole like summer 2020 Olympics, how like their mental health was part of the reason it like was hard for them to compete. I think media is starting to sh shed light on it, but I think in figure skating in particular, it's not even close to where it needs to be. 
Um, even like more recently with Camilla Valivia from Russia, um, it was all about like what she did, not why she did it. And like you could tell that it was really taking a toll on her, just like the whole mental aspect of the sport. For me, I believe social media has gotten a lot better more recently about advocating for women's mental health in sports. Um, specifically in figure skating, um, I know Gracie Gold has come out about her experience. Um, and I know other athletes in other sports have also come out with the documentaries and um, sharing more of their experiences and advocating for mental health of the younger athletes. Um, I do believe um, more figure skating can be represented. Introduce yourself and what is your connection with figure skating? My name is Riley and I have been watching figure skating for the past probably five years now. As a spectator of the sport, have you seen a shift in the ideals of the sport? Specifically, do you think the sport has become more about image and less about athleticism? I feel that now they kind of focus more on like the views of like the person and not so much their capabilities anymore, but they still do kind of talk about like their strengths in the sport itself. In recent years, there have been many stories released from women figure skaters in regards to body image. Does this surprise you at all? Um, in a way, it both surprises me that the lengths that the people will go with some of the things that are being said about them. But at the same time with any sport and specifically like the ones that are more like women based, it's pretty common for that to be a thing. After completing my interviews, I noticed that the problem is still there and that it is recognized not only by the athletes themselves, but also spectators. This does need to be addressed and I have been seeing more and more research coming out in regards to body image and mental health in figure skating and other women's sports, but I think we still need to shine a light on this issue and continue to advocate for these athletes.